Here at the Living Well Service, we provide multiple types of supervision for our link workers. One type of supervision that we provide is workplace supervision with the line manager. The process for workplace supervision with the line manager is we get together on a one-to-one -one basis and it's really about helping the, the link worker understand or overcome any difficulties that they've got. It's not always about me solving complex problems though, it's 90% it's of the time it's just about someone bouncing ideas off me to say, do you think this will work? Have you heard about something like this before? Do you think this might be a safeguarding issue? So it's just kind of like a natural flow of us sort of bouncing ideas and coming to a conclusion at the end of the day of what the way forward is for that particular case. Having workplace supervision with my line manager gives me a, a safe space to speak about any concerns that I have with my day-to-day -day caseload. It gives you a chance to speak freely, open honestly, get ideas from people and just make sure that you're on the right track and making sure that you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. Without these supervisions, I find that I would be quite lost and I don't think I would have all the answers. It gives you the time to discuss issues that you may have, as well as talk about different ideas to handle different situations. It gives you the chance to manage complex caseloads, so then the next time one arises, hopefully you'll be able to handle it a lot better. So if you're a GP or a PCN who is currently not sure about providing caseload management supervision for your staff, I say you absolutely need to. This is not something that is, this is a non-negotiable. If you want staff who are focused, if you want staff who can stay motivated in the face of working with clients with the most complex needs, if you want them to come into work every day and be excited about what they're going to do, if you want to skill them up so that they can really move into their own um, area of expertise and skills, then you have to provide caseload management. It's absolutely critical that link workers have an opportunity to develop and grow and and move on. You know, we should never expect our link workers are going to be working with us for the next 10 years. Two, if we get them for two to three years, then, you know, that's, that's pretty good. But in that two to three years, we have a responsibility to make sure that they are the very best that they can be. And if we're not providing caseload management supervision, we're just simply not doing that. Having the supervisions with my line manager has been absolutely amazing. It's, it's allowed us to grow as an individual as well as a professional and I've been able to get ideas, I've gained confidence, I've developed all sorts of new knowledge and skills and I've got the confidence in my own abilities and how to manage complex caseloads and I would definitely recommend it to every link worker. So workplace supervision with our GP, uh, we do group work. I think sometimes when, if you're working fairly independently on a, on a caseload, then I think you sometimes can get kind of sucked into just working, um, focusing on the, the, the job in hand. And sometimes it doesn't allow you that time to, to reflect, to, to look back and see, you know, what have I done? Have I done a good job? Is this the right thing? And I think sometimes uncertainty can creep in. And it gives you that, that opportunity to really discuss what you've done and, and yeah, a bit of validation that what you've done is the right thing. So, although I'm quite new to the team, supervisions with the GP have been invaluable to me. They give me the time with the GP to ask questions and bring difficult cases to the meeting and get more guidance on complex health conditions and diseases. I think the social prescribers have fed back after the sessions that they've found it very useful. They feel it's it's useful to get that clinical perspective you know, from a GP's point of view. We might well have a, a lot more clinical knowledge, whereas the social prescribing team will, will come in and they're, they're seeing these people in their homes, they're seeing them over a number of weeks, often for a greater duration than, than we as GPs would see. So I think bringing those views together helps, helps come up with it good management plan for the for the patient but I think that the social prescribing team have fed back that they find it very useful to get that different perspective. <laughs>